Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to create uh, this reflection mirror uh, effect on Photoshop. And on this, I have this particular image that I want to use. Uh, it looks so good and it's okay. I can also decide to use this image, but however, let us use this image maybe in our next tutorial or anything that comes out, we can also do that. So to create this particular uh, a reflection mirror effect on Photoshop having this particular subject or this lady to be mirrored or to be to have his uh, this thing reflection down here or over here or anywhere but the best way to do it to make the reflection come down here so that the the effect will look so good so first thing I'm going to do over on this particular tutorial is that we are going to change we are going to change the background and we are going to do the uh, reflection effect on this particular image with this so as you you already follow me on uh, on this particular uh, channel keep on following me and share my videos and everyone can also get to learn something on this so this is just a guide from abn graphics so first thing i'm going to do on this particular image is to click on this particular lock button then i will unlock the layer just like this okay and the next thing i'm going to do over there again is to uh, type Control J to duplicate or I can right click to duplicate that is what I have to do you get that yes and the next thing I'm going to do is to close up this one this steps is simple steps that you can learn okay and the next thing I'm going to do is to select my subject uh, by clicking on this particular this then select subject or I can come to select then subject and then I'll wait for my subject to be selected nice my subject has been selected and as you can see everything has selected good and then maybe i can also check through to see if part uh, some of the parts or the edges of my subject is not selected well i can just do it manually or i can leave it anytime i'm going to work on it uh, i can't have it just like that but let, let's come and click on this particular tool over here laser tool over here and then this one i'm i'm minus and so i have to click on this subtract uh, uh, button over here then i'll try and subtract this particular area down there so that everything will be good for me just like that you get that yes as you can see it has selected okay and then it looks so good so if i have something like this i have my layer have selected my subject has been selected then i'll just have to add a layer mask on this particular distance subject over here let me name it subject so that you can understand yes and i can have it just like that and then i'll click on this particular button over here yes good and you can see it has removed the background and leaving only the subject for me and now i can now work on it good so first thing i'm going to do is to create a, a solid color on it by clicking over here and then i'll come and click on solid color which looks so good okay then i'll come and choose any color i like that will be okay for me so for this particular design i'm going to use this particular design this particular color and it looks so good for me and it's okay the next thing i'm going to do is to right click on this particular design and then i'll convert it to a smart object just like that and that one too also looks so good for me and the next thing again i'm going to do is to go to uh, filter then i'll come to noise then i'll come and add add noise then i'll click on that and then i'll see three um it's okay then let me just have it just like that and just to make the background look somehow this thing and that looks okay for me you get that yes and the next thing again i'm going to do over there is that i'm just going to uh have this particular this one i'll on it up then i'll move it to the top over here just like that and then i'll write uh, then i'll on a blending mode i'll change it to multiply so that my distance will come up the uh, shadow effect will come out over there let me close it up it's not there let me have it there it's there let me have it just this have it just that nice so i can have it just like that it looks so cool for me and then uh having it this way i've just finished with the uh, percentage of uh, having that particular distance so this one is okay the next thing again i'm going to do on this particular subject i'm going to duplicate it by control g and then i'll right click out on this particular layer mask this now I'll, ri I'll right click on that and then apply layer effect and that does that looks so cool for me and with that i can have only that on this particular distance so this one i'll rename it reflection okay reflection 
sorry, row flashing. And that won't be okay for me. Then the next thing again I'm going to do over this particular this is to click on my reflection uh, layer over here. And then I'll type Control T to do what? To transform. Then I'll right click on the image. Then I'll come to flip vertical just like that. And that is how it's going to be flitted. And that will be okay. And the next thing again I'm going to do is to hold uh, uh, Shift, or, uh, Shift Control. Then I'll move it so that no part of this thing will have to change just like that so i can zoom out and then just to see how my listener has been selected if it is okay then i can move on so i'm just going to do the adjustment uh checking on that okay i think this way is cool for me then i can have it just like that as you can see so we are we just finished something like this over there so the next thing again i'm going to do is to click on this particular layer or this layer and then i'll reduce the opacity to somewhere very low so let me have it like 30 okay 30 will be okay for me and then as you can see we have something nice over here and the next thing some may decide to add a, 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 a distance on that uh, changing the blending mode to multiply or having it uh this thing uh, overlay or this thing but my i'm just going to leave it just like that and this looks so cool for me the next thing I'm going, again i'm going to do on this particular distance for you to just learn something uh i'm going to add this uh simple snoot effect on it so i'm just going to click on my tool over here then i'll pick the rectangular tool then i'll draw something like this over there you get that this something over there is so cool then i'll duplicate it by holding my alternate and then i'll just duplicate it just like that just like this okay i think something like this is okay okay so let me just delete up this one and this looks so cool so i'm just going to hold shift and then select all the distance then i'll right click then i do what then i convert it to a smart object that looks cool so cool then i'll move it down here yes down here then i'll just decide to resize it on how i want it to be that will be okay then i'll have it just like that it looks so cool for me you get that and i'll right click and click on uh, perspective then i'll just decide to move my distance a little bit so that i'll have it just like that i just i just want to have some kind of effect there that will look so cool that i'll click on okay then i'll try and move it to some down is somewhere up here yes and this looks okay for me yes and then on this particular i'm going i'm just going to add a a distance to it a, a gas and blade so i'm just going to blade the background so i'm just going to click on this then i'll come to uh blade then i'll go to what gas and blade and then i'll just decide to increase my distance to make it look so good for me yes okay let me see somewhere 20 let me see 20 all right 20 is okay it's somehow distant so let me use somewhere 15 okay this is okay for me for tutorial say this is okay for me so i can have it just like that and then the next thing again i'm going to do over there is to change the blinding mood to either multiply or i'll change you to a what overlay or soft light so overlay is good for me then i can have it just like that and then i'll just try on this particular i'll just try and reduce the opacity just to make it look so realistic so that it will look um uh, it will look like uh, it has been edited so i'll just have it just like that and look so cool for me you get that yes so that is how we do reflection uh on photoshop and it looks so cool the reflection is okay and it's good also you get that yes and as you check on this thing if you see that your the distance you have added the noise that you have added is too much you can also decide to reduce it or even close it up just like that you see you can close it up that's why we already we make it a, 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 a we convert it to a smart object so that we can have this on that you get that yes and as you can see you can also click on this smart object just to change the color to different color any color that you wish for and that will be okay then you click then you save it and everything will be reflected over here it looks so good it looks so beautiful you get that so the reflection is good and nice okay yes so on our next tutorial i'm going to teach you how to do the the reflection uh, uh, the snoot effect on that you can decide to use any uh any 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 shape that you like 
any kind of shape that you like to do the reflection and it's still going to look so beautiful for you you get that yes so for let us just try on this one then we have just like that okay then we can have it just something like this we draw something like this and then we'll move it somewhere here then we have it just like that and then we add our uh blending mood uh, sorry we we'll add our blend uh, this thing to it just like that you get that yes this way is cool then we change the blending mood to either overlay soft or we have it what multiply depending on the background so background uh, depending on the background you can decide to use it any this thing okay then we can decide to either uh zoom it out or we can just have it just like it or we zoom it out just like that and if it's okay for me for us then we move on then we can also use this and then to just make it looks somehow realistic and so beautiful you get that yes so this is how we do we create a, a reflection mirror in photoshop on our background it looks so cool it looks so beautiful you get that yes so this thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics and have a nice day if you have any questions any uh, suggestions Please make sure you comment and like my video and share, please. Bye-bye.